Hi, in this video I will show how to do Comet image processing with the PixInsight Auto Integrate script. If you need to know how to download and install Auto Integrate script, you can check my Introduction to Auto Integrate video. Comet processing involves quite a few steps. First, all images are processed in the normal way to align images and to get stars and possible background objects. Then a special comet alignment process is run to align comet data. The processing described here requires that you have installed either Star Exterminator or Starnet 2. They are needed because comet processing relies on star removal before comet alignment. In this video I use Comet C2022E3 data from Telescope Live. Data is already calibrated, so I can skip the calibration part here. First we start the auto-integrate script from script and batch processing. Now we load Comet images as light files. Original files are very large, so here I am using binned images. If we check the luminous images, we can see that the Comet moves from image to image. Next we check the settings tab. In the first step we do just a simple and quick processing and do not change settings. In the second step we will use the Comet Align option here. In the Processing 2 tab there are Comet Alignment settings. We will use these settings when we align Comet data. By clicking the question mark you can see the suggested workflow for Comet processing with Auto Integrate. The same information is also available on my website. There are also some tips if you run into problems, for example with image integration or blur exterminator. Now we are ready to do the first part of processing and just click run. I have the show flowchart option and the get flowchart data before processing option selected. So as the first step the script generates flowchart information. In the preview window we can see processing steps and we can see live as the processing advances. Now processing is completed. In this image we do not have any background objects, so we just remove stars from the image. Later we use the stars image to blend it to the comet image. First we select the target image, then we select remove stars and on-screen options and click apply. The first part is now done and we can exit the script. Here we can see the processed image starless image and stars image. Now we are ready to do the actual comet alignment. First we start the script again. Then we load star aligned images to the script. Star aligned images are generated during the first part of the processing. They can be found from the auto output directory with underscore r postfix. Again, we can see that the comet moves from image to image. Next, we set a window prefix for this step. We can write the window prefix to the box on top of the dialog. Using a window prefix, we avoid overwriting any previously processed images. Window prefix means that each image, either on desktop or on disk, will have the prefix. It is a convenient way to have multiple and maybe differently processed datasets on the desktop at the same time. Then we need to do some settings. First we go to the settings tab. Now we select the comet align option. When the comet align option is selected, the script will skip star alignment and it will skip SCNR that is used to remove green cast in normal processing. Then we need to select the star removal process. Here I have already selected star exterminator. It is my default setting that is loaded automatically when the script starts. 
if you have started to you can select it here next we go to the other tab we want to remove stars from images before we align the comet so we select the remove stars from lights option cosmetic correction is already done for the images so we select no cosmetic correction option next we go to the processing 2 tab here we need to fill in the first and last comet position coordinates for the comet alignment process the first and last images are found automatically based on the image timestamps from the dates OBS keyword when the images are loaded. To get the coordinates, we click the preview button for the first image. Go to the preview, zoom to one to one view using a mouse scroll wheel, and click the comet nucleus with the left mouse button. Now we have the coordinates in the box below. We can use the arrow button to automatically copy coordinates for the first image. Then we repeat the same thing for the last image. Now we have comet coordinates set and we are ready to run the comet alignment. We click the run button. Processing may take some time because stars are removed from each light image. Now comet processing is completed. We can see that the comet is nicely aligned. Maybe we should do more processing to the comet image, but now we do just a quick fix and make the background darker. We go to the extra processing tab. We select the target image. We select gum and set value to 1.5 and click apply. In this case, we can finalize the image here by adding stars to the image. We select Combine Starless and Stars option, then we manually pick the stars image. And click Apply. Now we have a comet aligned image with stars. There are no background objects, so this works OK here, at least for this video. Now we can exit the script. Here we can see the processed comet image. Comet alignment process creates a comet path image that shows how the comet nucleus has moved from image to image. And we have a version with stars. Using auto integrate you can simplify comet processing. You get background and stars image and you get a separate aligned comet image. Then, in a simple case, you can combine those in PixInsight as we did in this video. In a complex case, you may want to do more advanced blending of images, for example in Photoshop or other similar tools. This ends the comet processing video. Thanks.